I need you to answer my question, or I'll assume you're saying no. Well, I have to go in the advisement of her. Okay, we're going to carry you to the car. Okay. okay. Here, one arm and one leg. Okay. This is very embarrassing. Oh, we I know. The wife of a former Arizona Cardinals executive was carted off in cuffs after an alleged domestic violence dispute. Thank you. The incident left exec Bill Bidwell Jr. bloodied and bruised after being struck dozens of times, allegedly by the hands of his own wife, Nicole Bidwell. She was very upset at me. Authorities responded to the couple's Paradise Valley, Arizona home on June 9th. When police arrived to the scene, they met with Bill Bidwell Jr., whose face has been blurred out and appeared to be gushing blood. So what happened? Uh, she was very unhappy with me. She what? She was very unhappy, unhappy with me when I... Did you want to lean in mm -hmm. on my car? I'm going to have the fire department check you out anyway. After police walked Bidwell over to their squad car so he can be checked out by EMTs, he shared a detailed account of what transpired. I'm sitting on the couch and she's screaming at me. And I was trying to not escalate because she has a very bad temper. And then she started hitting me and I just started defending myself. And she was hitting you with her hands? Yeah, hard. I don't know if you can see my face. I don't know if it's blue or not. I have no idea. Um, she must have hit me a hundred times. Who were you guys arguing about? She wanted me to come home. She called me. She was upset. We were having carpet installed today. And she was upset that I wasn't here. So you got home from work? I got home from work, and apparently she texted me not to come home. And I didn't see that till I was already home. And then when I got in, she was really pissed. So she's mad at you because you weren't here for the carpet. Yeah, and then she was mad that I showed up. Bill tells police his wife struck him over 100 times during the dispute, even at one point hitting him with a glass. She boxed my ears a bunch of times. And you're on the couch? Yeah. I'm on the couch. She's standing over you? Yeah. Okay. And then she picked up the beer that I had just started. I poured it into a glass and she smashed the beer and landed here somewhere and shattered everywhere. Dogs are probably Okay, so she hit you over the head with a beer bottle? No, a glass of beer. Oh, a glass I of poured beer. It you into poured a it glass. into a glass. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming it was a glass glass then. It was a glass glass. And that cut me here. I don't know what she hit me with here. He tells the officer he tried to leave, but his wife grabbed him and wouldn't let go, admitting to striking her arms to try to get her off of him. Get her off me because she's grabbing my fist and she's just beating the shit out of me. And unbeknownst to me, there was a piece of glass that was attached to my foot, so it was in my shoe, so it went quick. And it took five minutes, it took me to get out of the closet because she's trying to trap me in there and beat me the shit out of me at the same time. As the officer takes photos of some of Bill's injuries and wounds, Bill nobly tells the officer he doesn't want his wife to be arrested, offering himself to be the one to be taken behind bars. I'm happy to go. She is not gonna. Her officer's body cam captures his interaction with Bill's wife, Nicole, as she's seen laying on top of a car in the couple's driveway. My dad's coming over. All right, let's go ahead and step on down. Let's get off the car. I just don't feel like it right now. I'm sorry. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Either you get off the car or I'm going to make you get off the car. Okay, what do you want to do? Get off the boat. I'll get off the, the car. I'm sorry that bothered you. I'm so sorry. Nicole appears to be following the officer's orders. She gets off the hood of the car. The cop then asks for her name. But when he asks her to state her birth date, she flat out refuses, saying her daughter, who is also a lawyer, can speak for her. What's your date of birth, Nicole? She's going to come over. And What's she's your coming. date of birth? I don't care if your daughter's coming. Your daughter doesn't answer for you. She's You're a grown woman. No, no, no. She's going to come. She's going to come over. Nicole, what's your date of birth? I just told you my daughter's coming over right now. She's an attorney. What happened today, Nicole? What's going on? You can at least look at me. Just have a conversation with me. I'm going to let my daughter sleep for me. Thank you. After a brief stalemate, Nicole eventually lets her guard down. I'm not sure what all happened. Got okay, anything to drink today? I'm, I'm pretty good. Thank you. And the reason why I ask is because you can barely have a conversation with me and you're slurring your speech. I have a very, very bad cold. 
It's unclear what medication Nicole took. The body cam video redacted that portion. But Nicole told the officer she was feeling drowsy. 232 uh, 204, she's saying she's very sick right now. She took some. So she's not talking to me right now. The body cam then cuts to showing fire, rescue, and Nicole's daughter on scene. As Nicole's daughter, who says she's a criminal defense attorney, tries to prevent the officers from speaking with her mother. We're investigating the crime, so she is being there detained. There is no crime. I tested. We're investigating the crime, so we have reasonable right, suspicion. I'm a defense attorney. I'm her rep I understand I'm representing that. her. You I understand, understand that, but we got to investigate what happened. First. But she can be detained if no, there's reasonable suspicion. No, you don't, Mom. You want to talk to the no, officer? No, she wants not. to talk to me first. That's her right. Okay, well then let her get checked out by fire first. I agree. She has blood on her. I 100%. Yeah, I think she okay, should. Okay, and then she told me she took some so I, I want her to get Mom, checked stop out. Talking. I take That's Pop, it. Stop talking. Okay. I'm sorry. Do you All right, so sit? let her get her checked out first, check out. and then no. have what, whatever yeah. conversation you want to have. Then, no. Just please, yeah. let's do that, and that's no. it. No. That's all I'm asking. No, no. she doesn't. Well, you don't want no, it. No, I do not want it. Thank okay, you. I agree with that decision. Yeah. Um, yeah, our, our, our main priority is we want to make sure everybody's okay. Oh, I understand. I I'm understand. Understand. Yeah. I understand. I'm here out of concern, that's but our, I am. I am an attorney, so I... main concern, which is fine. Yes, thank you. I'm just, That's great. <laughs> I'm very, very sick no, it's really today. Nice. Sucks. Well, I'm very yeah. tired and I stop talking. But obviously, so you have to look at it from our standpoint. But then things take a turn when Nicole's daughter appears to assume officers are jumping to conclusions. Obviously, we get here. You're a defense attorney. We see blood on someone. He's oh, waiting. no, no, no. You don't go there. That is a very easy assumption to make. She's and I see people defense make it all attorney. No, I'm the sorry. neighbor says no, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just saying that you're an attorney, so I'm just talking about evidence. She's my right. daughter. That we're, I'm we're a just, practicing criminal defense attorney. I'm just, I'm just stating I that there's some apparent going. reasonable suspicion is what we need to detain right. someone Right, she doesn't want to be medically inspected. And what no, else do what you need to ask her? Because I'll be present for that. Or I'll show her about that. Right. And yes. I'd also like to say we've been, I've been here for about 60 seconds. Right, so our neighbor says, Mom, please stop talking So we can detain her for a reasonable time to conduct an investigation. Uh, right. Not without reasonable suspicion. I just stated that we have reasonable suspicion. For a fact that, that, that she is we have a crime? to We have to determine. What what crime? Possible assault, DV assault. All right, just, no. um, okay. I'm told the neighbors are saying, go ahead and So we investigate, on. and then if we find out that there's not probable cause, then no one's arrested. I if told the neighbors, yeah, she doesn't have to arrested. let you investigate if you don't have probable cause. I mean, she can't be detained legally. On reasonable suspicion yes, to believe absolutely. that there was a crime committed absolutely. and the she call, committed it. The call came and she out made as the a call. DV physical. You guys are, I mean, you okay. know in court this does not fly. You absolutely know it. Okay. <laughs> okay. The body cam then cuts to Nicole already put into cuffs as she argues with the officers about being placed under arrest. Can you look at me, please, Nicole? Nicole? This is the last time I'm going to ask I you. I just need her to say it's okay. You're talking and not listening. This is the last time that I'm going to ask you and then we are going to carry you. If you don't want your neighbors and everyone else to see these two, us two officers carry you They're to the police. Everyone can car. see right now. But it's you're gonna okay. you're gonna lose some dignity with that, and I'd like you to keep as much dignity as possible right now. I don't want to do that. I'm not I worried not about my dignity. Okay, so are we going to have to carry you? You are going to go to the police car, either by walking or us carrying you. I suggest you walk. That is your last opportunity. What would you like to do? We May I ask walk. her to come over? You're not answering my question. As Nicole refuses to comply, it leaves the officers no choice but to lift her up by her arms and legs and carry her to the police squad car. There's one arm and one leg. Okay. Okay. This is very embarrassing. Oh, we should have walked. I know. I can't. Thank you. Thank you. Once they place her back on the ground, the officers check her for weapons before placing her in the back of the police vehicle. Despite her husband not wanting to press charges, Nicole Bidwell was booked on one count of assault. Bill Bidwell Jr. previously served as vice president of the Arizona Cardinals for several years when his father owned the team. Although he doesn't have a current role with the football organization, the Cardinals released a statement back in June stating it was a difficult time for the family and they were asking for privacy to deal with the personal situation. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Elizabeth Milner.